Can you do me a favor, please, my friends? Can you let the joy come in? Can you let the joy come in? You know when it's all said and done. I'm going to drop this raggedy old body. Then the real me's going to pop out of my head. I'm talking about the spirit. The spirit man, as it's called in the word. Can you allow yourself to feel the joy as I've said so many times before? Let God infuse you with his spirit. Get out of that habit of getting used to being depressed, used to feeling downtrodden, used to feeling jealous, used to feeling all these negative feelings. Can you just let that go? Oh, Miss 825 an hour with her secondhand one dollar jacket and her one dollar blouse and her 50 cent jeans and her five dollar Walmart sneakers and her Mitch match white socks with her raggedy old head is here to tell you despite some of the circumstances I am experiencing for some reason today for some reason today He's decided to give me a special gift of joy today. Oh, yes, he has. I'm sitting here and I'm listening to some music and here comes this sister in her car and she's lowering her music. We are listening to the same song. We're bobbing our heads and praising him. Oh, yes, indeed. I don't care how deep that situation is. Oh, Grandma Cheap Cheap, how I love you, girl. How I love you, sister. Oh, yes, indeed, Miss Pam, Pam's life. Oh, let's pray in the name of Jesus Christ for your complete healing and for the complete healing of a lot of others. Let's pray for the healing of some of my family members' hearts as one is feeling so trapped in her situation. And you know that we have come into agreement. Oh, yes, indeed. I, I have the faith, faith to believe. I don't know why I just stop and I envision a body and within it there is a cloud of negativity, a cloud of depression, a cloud of disease, a, a cloud of indifference, a cloud of coldness, something within the depths of your soul that won't let you sleep at night and wakes you up at three o'clock in the morning and has you pacing up and down your little apartment or pacing up and down the hallway of your home. Just something, a person, a thing, a situation that's just trying to grab a hold of you in the name of Jesus. Let's just let that thing remove its sticky fingers from up and out of you and give you that peace that he has promised. Can you do me a favor? And allow yourself to feel the joy that you deserve, the peace that you deserve, the shame. Get that up and out. That thing is over with. That thing is over with. Accept. Accept the joy. Oh, how I love you.